Good morning. We will pay attention to bad debts today. Receive 400 rand as a final payment of 40 cents in the rand. If the person paid the total debt, he would pay 100%. The business only received 40% of the debt and 60% must be written off as bad debts. The amount received is given, so it means the 40% that was received equals 400 rand. If you want to calculate the bad debts, the percentage that you want to calculate 60 divided by the percentage that you know 40 times 400. Receive 40 cents in the rand as a final payment of a debt of 400. In the second example, they give us the debt, where in the first example, they gave us the received amount. The debt is 100%, receive 40%, bad debts will be 60%. The amount given in this example is the debt, so the debt is 100%, and that equals 400 rand. The bad debts will be 60% of 400 rand. It is very important to determine whether the amount received or the total debt is given before you do the calculation. Celia was insolvent, received a final payment of 40 cents in the rand in settlement of a debt of 800. The total debt is 100, the amount received is 40. Bad debts is 60%. The amount given is the total debt, so the total debt of 100% equals 800 rand. The amount received will be 40, the one that we want, divided by 100, the one that we know, times 800. Bad debts will be 60, the one that we want, over 100. The one that we know times 800 and that will give us 480 rand. The balance of the data is 800 rand. We will decrease the data with the amount paid and the bad debt so that the debtor's account can be written off because we are closing his account. The bank account is debited to increase the asset. Bad debt is debited to increase expenses. Bank is debited because assets increase on the debit side. Debtors control is credited to decrease the asset on the credit side. So we change one asset into another asset. We will issue a receipt as proof of payment and any money received is recorded in the cash receipt journal. The bad debts account is debited to increase the expense. Expenses decrease profits, so equity will decrease with 480. Debtors control is an asset, so we decrease the assets with 480. Bad debts is written off in the general journal, and we will complete a journal narration as source document. Received 800 rand as a final payment of 40 cents in the rand. In this case, the amount received is given. The total debt is 100%. The amount received is 40% and the bad debt is 60%. The amount received is given, so the 40% that is received equals 800 rand. If we want to calculate the bad debts, the percentage that we want, 60, divided by the percentage that we know, 40, times 800, and that will give us 1,200. The debtors owe a total of 2,000, and we will credit the debtors' control with both the amounts, 800 for the amount received and 1,200 for bad debts. The bank account is debited to increase the asset and bad debt is debited to increase the expense. Bank is debited to increase assets. Debtors control is credited 
to decrease assets. We issue a receipt as proof of payment and we record this in the cash receipts journal. The bad debts account is debited to increase expenses that will reduce profits, so equity will decrease with 1,200. Debtors control is credited to decrease the asset. We will record this in the general journal and we will use a journal narration as a source document. Insolvent, the executor notified the business that a final payment of 60 cents in the rand of the debt of 700 will be paid during March. The rest of the amount must be written off. The total debt is 100%, the amount received is 60% and the bad debt is 40%. Although we don't receive the money immediately because it will only be paid out in March, you have to uh, do an entry for the bad debts because you can't show an asset at an amount that you know that you're not going to get in the future. So the bad debts, the percentage that we want, 40, divided by the percentage that we know, 100, so the bad debts will be 280. Debtors control will be credited with 280 and bad debts will be debited with 280. Bad debts decreases the profits with 280. Debtors control decrease assets with 280. This entry is recorded in the general journal and we will use a journal narration as source document. What did we learn? At the end of the financial year, bad debts must be written off because the amount will not be received in the future, so you are not allowed to show it as an asset in your balance sheet. The amount of the debt will only be received in March and can still be shown as a debtor at the end of the year because it is still an asset, the amount will be received in the beginning of the next financial year.